1. Via internal chemical reactions, batteries maintain an electric pressure difference between their terminals. It is assumed that the positive terminal is held at a higher electric pressure than the negative terminal. Here we have our battery and we have a positive terminal which is assumed to have a high electric pressure and the negative terminal is assumed to have a low electric pressure. On the right we have a schematic diagram that shows a two battery pack, two wires, and a light bulb. One battery is symbolized by a long line and a short line. So here we have two batteries in series. On the right we have our resistor and of course we have the wire at the top and the wire at the bottom. The positive terminal is assumed to have a high electric pressure and the negative terminal of the other battery is assumed to have a low electric pressure. The castle color code conventions are that high pressure is given a red color and low pressure is a blue color. So this positive terminal is under a high electric pressure and this negative terminal is assumed to have a low electric pressure. When connected into a circuit with resistance elements, the pressures of the wires connected to the battery immediately become equal to the electric pressures at the terminals. So in this schematic diagram we saw earlier, we have the high pressure positive terminal and the low pressure blue negative terminal. Statement number two says that the top wire in this circuit will immediately acquire an electric pressure equal to that at the positive terminal of the battery and that this wire down here will immediately acquire the low pressure by being connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Because wires have little resistance, they can't maintain any difference in pressure from one part of the wire compared to another. That is, a given wire has a uniform pressure. Therefore, any pressure differences between wires will be observed only if there is a resistor or battery between those wires. This picture in the lower right shows some carbon resistors. Wires have uniform pressures. In circuits, we color the different wires to indicate the electric pressure in each. Red, as we've talked about, is the highest pressure, touching the positive battery terminal. Blue is the lowest pressure, touching the negative battery terminal. Then there are three intermediate colors, with yellow being normal pressure. In a circuit, current will always flow from points of higher to points of lower pressure. So, let's say that somehow you determine that the pressure in this wire is the highest possible pressure and so you color that wire red and this one you color blue. In another circuit you determine that this colored wire should be orange because it has higher than normal pressure but not the highest. This has lower than normal pressure but not the lowest so we color it green. We haven't talked about how you determine whether a wire might be colored orange or green. But the point here is this. Wire will conduct electric charge only when you have a region of higher pressure connected to a region of lower pressure with a resistor in between. So in each of these cases, charge will flow from the left to the right because what's on the left has a higher electric pressure than what's on the right. All electric circuits are based on the relationship between three main quantities, electric pressure or voltage, electrical resistance, and the flow rate of charge, namely current. 1. Batteries have a high pressure at their positive terminals, low pressure at their negative terminals. Wires have low resistance, so these pressures are transmitted to any wires connected to the battery terminals. 2. Highest pressure wires are colored red, higher than normal, orange, normal, yellow, lower than normal, green, and lowest pressure wires are colored blue. And three, charge flow or current is from higher to lower pressure regions.